Now, in the previous part, we found out that dp by dt was 16e to the fifth t. And we've got to find out the value of p when dp by dt equals 50. So let's start from there by saying when dp by dt equals 50, we would therefore have that 16e to the 1 fifth t must equal 50. Now we need to find out what t is okay, at this stage, or possibly not. We only need to find out what e to the 1 fifth t is, because we know that p is equal to e to the 1 fifth t. So all we need to do is divide both sides by 16 and get e to the 1 fifth t equals 50 divided by 16. Now 50 divided by 16 is going to give us 3.125 if you do it on your calculator. So instead of working out what t is, we don't need to do that. If we were going to do that, we'd need to use natural logs and uh, it's a waste of time really. Okay, Just to find your value of t, substitute it back in here to get p because you're just going to do e to the one fifth of that value of t. And we know that what it comes to is 3.125. So just substitute this back into here for p. So therefore, we've got that p equals 80 multiplied by 3.125. And if you do that on your calculator, you get the exact value of 250. Let's just suppose, though, that you did happen to not do it this way. You got down this far and you tried to find out what t was. Let's just show you what would happen. If you've got e to the 1 fifth t equals 3.125, if you're solving this for t, what I'd want to do is take natural logs to both sides. The natural log of e to the 1 fifth t would equal the natural log of 3.125. And then by the power rule for logs, I would bring out the 1 fifth t and have the natural log of e. And that's going to be the natural log of 3.125. Well, the natural log of e, as I showed you in an earlier tutorial, you should know it, is 1. So you got 1 fifth t, OK? equals the natural log of 3.125. So to get t, you'd multiply both sides by 5, and so t would be 5 times the natural log of 3.125. And if you do that on your calculator, you end up with t being 5.697 and so on. Now guaranteed, if you now put that value back into here and work it out, you should find you get 250 exactly. But what a waste of time doing it this way, okay? When you know what 1 fifth t is going to be. 1 fifth t comes out to be essentially 3.125. Okay, well, hope you've been able to follow that. And uh, there you go. All right. That brings us now to the end of this question.